Hi, Swanky friends, it's Miss Baker, and I'm here to give you a tour of your garden. Although the school gardens are closed, just like the playgrounds are, I'm up here to take care of your garden while we're away from school, and I wanted to give you a tour to show you what's growing. I'll take care of everything while we're gone, and then I'll keep it growing for you so that when we come back, that we'll be able to not miss a beat and just continue on growing that organic food that you guys know so much about. So let's take a look around. Okay, so the first garden that we're looking at is half of it is herbs. So we've got this great sign here that some scouts made. I'm not sure, pretty sure that was Girl Scouts. Might have been Boy Scouts, pretty sure those Girl Scouts. Um, but right next to it is this wonderful herb called oregano. And oregano is used in seasoning and flavoring a lot of Italian food. So that's a great looking herb. Um, very easy to grow either in a container or in the ground. Then we've got parsley also a great herb. One thing interesting about parsley, I don't see any here, but there is actually a butterfly, a swallowtail that lays its egg on parsley, and then the eggs would hatch and the caterpillar larva would eat the parsley leaves. So just like we know monarchs lay their eggs on milkweed, um, there's a swallowtail butterfly that lays its eggs on parsley. So although we use this for eating, we also can use it in the butterfly garden. So parsley and oregano. Then we have over here some squash growing. So some yellow squash is coming up here. It's looking good. And then right next to that, these are cucumber plants. So little tiny cucumbers that are coming up there. We have them coming up next to the trellis. And we know that um, trellises are used for things that need to climb. And so cucumbers will grow as a vine and then they'll want to climb up the trellis. So we've got several trellis here. There's a cute little cucumber sign. So we're all ready to go. Cucumbers, squash. There's a close-up of the squash. And then parsley and oregano. Let's go look at the next garden. Over here, this awesome scarecrow. Love these scarecrows that you have here at Swinky. This is the carrot garden. And I'm pretty sure all of the grade levels got to see the carrots as they grew starting way back in October when we planted the seeds. But the carrots are looking good. There's a couple different varieties. This variety, I can't remember the name, it's an Italian name carrot. And this one is supposed to be short and round like this. So it's not maybe what you're used to thinking of when you think about a carrot. Look at how round it is, kind of cute. So the orange part is the root, then the stem, and then the leaves, those are the parts of the plant. Let's see if I pull one more, if it's also a little round root or if we can get a different one. Nope, this one's not round. That's just a regular carrot that you're probably used to seeing, but look at all that soil. So the function of a, a root is to hold the plant in the ground and also absorb water and nutrients. So we've got carrots growing in this bed. We had a lot of them. Then over here, we've got tomatoes. The tomato plants are looking good. They've got these cages around them. We know that a, a cage either could be used to help a plant that's a vine climb up, or in this case, this is a tomato plant. It's not a vine, it just needs support. So as these tomato plants get bigger, they might start to tip over. So this cage is gonna help support them as they get really big. Right now, each plant is maybe two feet tall. And I can tell you what, by the end of May, these plants are probably gonna be more like five feet tall. They grow really fast. You have great soil here at Swinky, so I know that they're gonna grow well. Let me zoom in and show you. There's a tomato flower here with that hairy stem and there's a fruit growing. So you already have some little tomatoes growing. So tomatoes are looking good. And then down here, this is chard. Chard is just a leafy vegetable. You can cook it like you would collard greens or spinach. It has a great flavor. There's a couple different ways I've heard it used in soups before, but this beautiful leaf, just a really pretty leaf. So this is called Swiss chard. Now let's go look at this garden. This garden is kind of done. It is on the out, uh, the back end of it growing. This was spinach doesn't look so good does it spinach though um, at the end of its life cycle makes flowers and then the flowers job is to make seeds so at least you can kind of see the end of this plants life cycle 
the flowers, spinach flowers. All this is gonna get taken out. It is done. This is kale. It's also super old. And so now I bet if I look underneath here, let's see what we can find. Nope, I was looking for some aphids. A lot of times when kale gets old, aphids move in. Over here, look at that beautiful sign. It says onions, here are the onions. Also mixed in with the onions, look at this onion flower. This is just fascinating. It looks like it has a little um, wrapping around it right now, if you can see that. These are the onion flowers, but look at how gorgeous this onion flower is. Isn't that amazing? That's an onion flower. And the flower's job is to make seeds. So this is where you would find onion seeds probably in another couple weeks. But these great looking onions are mixed in with red potatoes. Here's a potato sign. See that sign? So these are potato plants. Now we don't eat the leaves or the stems of a potato. What we want is what's growing down on the ground and they're not ready yet. They're not gonna be ready till the end of May. So no need to worry about the potatoes. They're just growing, they look great. Potatoes grow under the ground, mixed with the onions. So that's what's growing in this bed. And there's another fun, swinky scarecrow. So let me tell you what's gonna happen. If you um, have been out to the garden to see this, it's kind of falling apart, but your awesome PTO is fixing that. So what's gonna happen here in the next few weeks is this wood that is just old. It's been probably, I think we figured maybe at least eight, maybe longer years ago, 10 years ago, I'm forgetting my timing. This was built and now this wood is decomposing. We know that that is what wood does. It will break down. It used to be a tree, just like um, a dead leaf will decompose. This wood is decomposing. And so it's time for this wood to go and your PTO is going to replace this wood and a landscaper is gonna come out and fix all of these and build new beds for you. So the wood will go away and instead we're gonna have brick around the garden, just like we do in the butterfly garden. It's gonna look amazing and it's gonna last forever. That's the good part. So I'm super excited to see that happen. Um, it is a gorgeous evening and I hope you guys all are enjoying um, your backyards. I hope you have been maybe enjoying nature while we're away from school. Okay, Swinky friends, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you around and let you see what's growing. Next check-in I'll make, I'll show you how the cucumbers and squash are growing. Um, we'll have some of these beds cleared out and then the new work will begin getting your gardens rebuilt with a brick border and the wood will go away. So I'm excited for that to happen. Um, remember, like I said, the gardens are closed for now, just like the playgrounds are, but I will take care of everything growing and I'll give you another garden tour again soon. Until next time.